This is the Volanot air bike, but is it real? Is it fake? Is it AI generated? Today, I'm gonna tell you with certainty the answer to that question. The internet's been going crazy about this video, which was released earlier this week, and another video for May the 4th be with you day. Check this out. It's like a motorcycle, but it's got no wheels. It's just floating here above the ground. This is, this is crazy. People are saying, that it's AI generated, this could never be real. Other people are saying, yes, it is real. And there's even people saying that there's a crane holding this thing in the air with wires and they're editing the wires out. Now, I'm Rob, I'm actually the founder of an electric bike company. We make electric dirt bikes, electric bikes, electric skateboards. We've made over 20,000 of them, shipped them to over 65 countries around the world and I've lived in factories so I do know a thing or two about personal mobility and I'm going to share my expertise with you today. Is this thing real? First of all, it looks amazing. I'm a pilot and a motorcycle rider myself and it's like you put the two things together. How could you not have the time of your life just flying through the air? I think everybody here who's seen Star Wars, everybody, I have seen the land speeders, the, you know, the motorcycles were floating through the forest. It looks amazing. And we've all dreamed of riding one of these. And this company is claiming that they've made it. It looks like we're there. We made it, guys. Uh, I love seeing his rocks flying, the dust. We'll get into all the specs in just a second. Pretty cool video. The music is overpowering. You cannot hear this thing at all. You can't hear if it's real. You can't hear if there's an electric motor, a gas motor, or a crane operating this thing. We're gonna do a little investigation though, so follow me. Let's see if we can get a landing. I don't think it's gonna happen, but the dust flying sure is cool. Just a little slow-mo here, and that's Volanot. All right. So if you look at Volanot on YouTube, there's a few links here. They don't have their website here, but I've done you the privilege of finding their website. It's volanot.com, super easy. You've got the air bike here, welcome to the future, and a video. Very simple website, okay? You could make this thing pretty quick. If we click on the air bike, we get a little bit more information. They're evolving human flight. You know, picture from the video they have and a little description. Bingo. They're claiming a top speed of 124 miles per hour. So that's up in the territory of some sport bikes. Uh, electric sport bikes, for example, the Zero, I think, I think it's the FXR. It's their, you know, their sport bike can go 130 plus. I've personally done that on that bike. Pretty cool. So yeah, it's right up there with an electric motorcycle speed. They claim it is seven times lighter than a typical motorcycle. So in terms of weight, what are we talking here? A typical motorcycle for a sport bike, we're talking 350, 400 pounds average, a modern sport bike, and a cruiser, you're looking at six, 700, even 800 pounds. So if it's seven times lighter, we'll be generous and say seven times 700 pounds would make a 100 pound air bike, hover bike. 100 pounds, that's not bad. Is it possible to reach that weight? I think it's very ambitious. We'll dig into that in a second as we look at more. They say it's got no spinning propellers. Yeah, we didn't see any in the video, okay? And that is literally all the information we have from Volanot thus far. There's no pre-order, there's no price, there's no range. It doesn't talk about how it works, the technology, where it's made. Uh, it is a Polish inventor and that's about it. So let's do a little bit more digging. They do have their social links. And if you go to their Instagram, this is what you'll find. A little bit more here. We see a 3D printer in the back here and a 3D printed part. This looks like part of the fairing, the front fairing, I believe this is right here. And they're saying they're doing rapid composites prototyping. So what they're doing is they're 3D printing this plastic fairing. It's a mold, and then they're laying up carbon fiber sheets inside of the mold. 
vacuum, vacuuming that, so sucking all the air out of that in a bag, and it's going to form the carbon fiber to the shape of the plastic mold. Yes, that's 100% valid. That's used in aviation, that's used in other industries, especially for prototyping, to make quick carbon fiber parts. So this checks out. Does it fly? Maybe. Does it have carbon fiber parts? That's a resounding yes. They're doing that part right. Okay, another photo we've got of Mr. Thomas Patsan. I know I'm murdering his name, but check this out in the back. We do see this is actually, I can see a Honda gas tank on here. He's got a seat. It looks like he took part of a Honda motorcycle, perhaps a CBR um, or a Honda CB. That would be about a four to five gallon tank right here and perhaps some controls. So this is early prototyping phase. This looks a lot different than the one we saw in the video. Perhaps he's just painted over this and added some fairings for the video, but we do see some stuff going on under here. The picture's just not clear enough to see exactly what's going on. It's good he's got a test rig here, so I'm sure they're doing some test flights. And if you look under the device, you'll see the ground is burnt. It's literally, this is plywood and he has burnt the ground below it. So what does that mean? That means it's 100% gas turbine engines here. It could be rockets, of course, but you're not gonna be flying around with rockets. The fact that he's got a gas tank and it's burnt on the ground means he's flying with hot gas turbine engines, okay? It's not electric, that's for sure. Let's keep going and you see a lot of people here saying, you oh, know, fake videos. I don't know. It, I mean, it looks like he's got some carbon fiber. He's got gas. We've got a few other videos, uh, photos on this Instagram. So a little bit more here actually than the YouTube. Check this out. Some photos. I'm not sure what's on the top. We've got a couple joysticks. I do like the lights. <laughs> Just goofing around with this whole Star Wars speedster thing. You got to do it. If you make this bike and you don't do a Star Wars thing, you're definitely missing out on an opportunity. Uh, your latest speeder. They just introduced it. All the guys, they say it's... Uh, Check that out. You do really see the gas ride. cap right here. Cannot wait to test it. I'm trying to it's see some be, more. Uh, cool. Yeah. Sounds like a Polish guy to me. All right. Let's see what else we got. Any other reels? Nope. Tagged? Did anybody tag these guys? Looks like a bunch of reposts of this stuff. Yeah, nothing original in here. On Twitter, it's the same thing, okay? Nothing new. Facebook, again, nothing new. There's gonna be a bunch of haters in the comments, I'm sure. It's all the posts that we saw on Instagram, LinkedIn. It's the same thing. TikTok, boom. Same thing. So that is literally all the information we got from Volanot. And that leads me to my last point. Is this thing real or is it AI? I'm going to tell you, I think it's real. I'm pretty sure this thing is real. From my experience, and I've been doing personal mobility on a massive scale for 10 years now, over 10 years, I think this thing is real, and that means the future is here. It's now, we're there. I cannot wait to get one of these. I'm sure we're many, many years off, and it's gonna be super impractical for decades. But, talk about the ride of your life. Why do I think it's real? Check this out. If you haven't seen this, uh, this will give you a clue. Check this out. This is a real thing. There's a sanctioned race from Gravity Industries. It's a jet suit. This is jet suit racing. And let's check it out. These guys are on the lineup. Just look at the technology. If you pause this here, we've got one, two, three, four jets on each person's arm. And I believe it looks like we have a jet or two coming out of the backpack as well. But look at the size of it. Look at the size of it and look at the size of the Volanot bike. If you put all that stuff together, the jets in the backpack, it's like exactly the same size. So yeah, 
You've got your gas tank, you've got your jet engines, you've got a controller, a way to handle it, and it all is the same size. I think it's 100% possible that this is real. Okay. Now, if you look at these guys racing, it doesn't look like they're going that fast. Maybe 20, 30 miles per hour. It's kind of what we were seeing from all the dudes in the water. That's crazy. Okay, we'll turn this off. You can check that out on your own. This is Gravity Industries, world's first jet suit race. Let's jump back and look at this Volanaut one more time. They did have like a teaser video here and another uh, scenario. Check it out. I mean, it's just cool. And look at it, the size of it matches the jet suits. So yes, I think it's real. I think it's with gas powered turbines. I could tell you with almost 100% certainty, that's how this thing is powered, 100% indeed. And I would love to see more of it. I wanna know how these guys actually plan to bring it to market. It's gonna be loud as hell. Uh, you probably won't be seeing this racing around your neighborhood anytime soon. But if you do have private property, land, you know all the rich guys are gonna buy these and I hope you have one as a friend so you can go and try it out for yourself. What do you think? Uh, do you think it's real? Do you think it's AI? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion on this and would you write it or do you think it's a death trap? Thank you for watching, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe too.